The most useful and important piece of equipment that you'll use when studying lichens is a hand lens. I've got mine here on a cord so that I don't lose it and tucked in my clothes because it's a really cold day and what I don't want is a really cold piece of glass where my breath might condense on the glass. This I've had since I was a student. It's a times 10 lens. It folds out of its case and then folds back in to keep it safe. You can buy lots of different magnifications. Times 10 is most common and most people find it most useful. But times 15, times 20, even times 30 are also available. But I always go back to times 10. So how do you use it? What you don't do is use it like a magnifying glass. You don't hold the lichen, which in this case is on a stick, out from your body and put the hand lens close to it and try and see through that tiny piece of glass. Instead, bring your lens right up to your eye. It's touching my eyelashes. And then bring your lichen up to the lens and keep bringing it closer and closer until it comes into focus. Wow, there's a lot going on here. One of the things that's quite important to do is to orientate your body so you've got plenty of light. Light bouncing onto the lichen and then up into your lens is going to help you. I'll try it this way around. That's better. And did you notice I swapped eyes? Now, despite the fact that I have to, I'm right handed, so I'm holding my lens across the bridge of my nose, my left eye seems to be much more comfortable for me. And that's fine. Use whichever eye works best for you. Okay, so I can look at a, at a lichen when I can bring it up to the lens close to my eye. But what happens if I can't move a tree? So to look at the lichens here, I need to bring the lens to my eye and then take my head and my lens to the lichen. But at this point, I'm going to swap lenses. I treated myself to a new one recently. It's got a slightly larger diameter of glass and I haven't found a cord for it yet. That larger diameter does sometimes make it easier to scan across the surface that you're looking at. But the really good thing about this is that it's got a little light on the back, a little LED light. So if I turn that on, it won't matter if this side of the tree is in shade. I'm still going to get plenty of light to have a good look. So hand lens to my eye, touching my eyelashes and have a look. Wow. There's a lot going on here. Much more than I could see without the lens. Now, some of you may wear glasses. I've got mine on top of my head. I tend to use them for distance, so if I'm walking around, I'll pop them on, but for close-up work, they're not very good for me. But if you do wear glasses, you may find it easier to use your hand lens with your glasses still on. It's worth a try. Just work out what works for you. I'm going to give it a go. Hand lens right up to the glass, and then my head and the lens towards the tree. It doesn't quite seem as comfortable for me, but it's worth trying both ways. So get out there, see what you can see through a hand lens.